Um, I shut up. I'm gonna throw snowballs at you just because. No, I'm throwing egg. No, no, I don't want things to spawn. I'm throwing snowballs at you. Eh. Eh. Epic. No. Hello, everyone. And welcome to. Well, I guess welcome to 1.21.2. And yeah, I'm going to go over pretty much everything added in this update and talk about some other stuff such as like the new game drops, well the next game drop uh, experiment, other experiments that are in progress, um, and obviously the things that are coming in 1.21 Bundles of Bravery, or 1.21.2, um, but yeah, I'm going to get started. First thing we have here is the bundles, of course, that's one of the biggest things other than hardcore and bedrock, but this is Java, so I'm not going to talk about that. You all know how that works. And the bundle is a new storage item that you can use, and it's a more early game item that you craft using one string and two leather, like this recipe I put right here. So let's go ahead and craft it. And here we go you can see we have the bundle very cool little item thingy item design and as you can see here it says can hold a mix of stack items and that's exactly what it means so for example see see all of this i have like six bones six raw chicken raw iron rabbit hide all this stuff i can carry all of this inside of one bundle so what you do is you pick up your bundle and you right click on it and it will go ahead and pick up your item that you were hovering over so I was hovering over the diamond and it picked up the diamond and the thing the cool thing about this is that you can obviously as I said mix items so I can pick up this bone meal pick up the feather the ender pearl the apple the rabbit hide bones raw chicken and raw iron and that will all fit into one little item stack which is a very nice way to clear your inventory of things you want to have but it's just taking up your hot bar or item slots and it can go up to three rows any more past that and it will not show you the three rows so just say like plus one plus two so for example if I take like say I take a leather piece of leather and I put it in here it's now going to say plus ten or let's say I, I add it with like maybe two string and yeah um, but anyway, so the way you take things out is you use your scroll wheel and you can shift through all the items. You'll see it in like the little icon over here. It shows off what you're looking at currently in the bundle. And what you do if you want to take out it is to simply left click and you have it out. You can always put it back in. And you can do the same thing. You can also just left click outside and it will throw out the last or the first thing here. So next you should take out string and then hide and then ink sacks yep and that's how the bundle itself functions there are some other little cool neat things you can do with the bundle for example you can color it so uh, over here i have a bunch of colors i want to have a purple one so first let's make the bundle and then we'll add the purple dye no not like that we'll add the purple dye and now we have a purple bundle. So this is a this is a cool way to kind of to kind of color code your bundle item into like different uh, types of bundles. So let's say the purple ones are for like blocks, while the red ones are for food, or like green ones are for like monster drops and all that sort of stuff. It's a very cool way to do things. But yeah, that's it for the bundles. That is one of the biggest things coming in this update. But there are some other changes coming to, to this update, as well as uh, the obvious experiments. But first, let's talk about the things coming to this update. So the first change I kind of want to talk about are the redstone changes. Now, there are actual redstone experimental changes, but I'm not going to go over those because I don't really know what they are. I'm not very good at redstone, so... If you want to know any more about them, just like look it up somewhere. Um, but one of the biggest changes that are that is actually coming to this update is some texture changes to the redstone porch. 
kind of light so as you can see here i used it in the build over here and i think it looks very nice it's a very nice upgraded looking look in my opinion and this also happens with the comparator and the repeater so if i turn these on you can see they have the new design turn this on and yeah i think they're very cool and obviously there's the experimental changes i talked about not too long ago but i'm not gonna go over those there are some new changes to the trial chambers from compared to 1.21 which was the last time or that was when we got the trial chambers so some of the new additions are the barrels and hopper changes so for example the places which would have empty chests are now replaced with a hopper um, over a barrel and this is to indicate that this is for instead of like loot it's more for throwing away just random junk like drops and stuff and this is supposed to help players um indicate that this is not a loot box but more of like a trash collector and i think it's going to be pretty cool i mean it's like a free hopper you can just take the hopper if you want there are some new rooms they're called encounters and they're these cool little small combat rooms before you go into a big room they're kind of like uh a practice room before you go into the big challenge room basically pretty cool uh, I think they'll spice up the trail chambers a bit more and yeah I think there's if I remember correctly six variants so I hope you'll be able to find some uh, next thing I want to talk about are some changes to the sea life so there's now new variants there's well they're called baby variants for most for like three of them so like the dolphin squid and glow squid now have baby variants so for example here we have a baby glow squid. Uh, same thing with this normal squid. They have the same size, same size. But we also have baby dolphins. And they're very cool, and I think they're nice. It's a very nice parody uh, addition to Minecraft Bedrock. Can you stop moving? Uh, but yeah, they're a very nice parody change with uh, Bedrock because they've Bedrock has had this for like a long time. It's just now in the game for uh, Java. There's also changes to salmon, so like there's not big there's medium and there's really large assignments so for example if we that's a it's not a sonic they have three variants um there's the big there's the small and then there's the large so i think these are no this is not the three variants yeah oh, wait no we'll get it eventually Oh, here we go. Here's the large variant. That is very large, and I think this will also help spruce up a little bit of like rivers, uh, frozen oceans, thanks to the sizes of salmon. I think they're very cool. This is, these are all just very nice, like immersion additions. And yeah, next are the batter pattern changes. These are icon changes, so these all have new kind of icons they look very different from what they used to look like um they now sh in show what banner pattern they are specifically so now it's going to be a lot easier to tell which one you're looking at um and there's also two new banner patterns for java there's the well they're actually old but they're new banner patterns there's they were on bedrock as designs but now they have their own pattern and that is border border indented and field mason and I have the recipes right here. It's just bricks and paper for border or field mason and then vines and paper for border indented. They're pretty, it's not that hard. It's just a little a bit of an extra step overall. I like the new icons. So for example, here's flower, um, creeper thing, skull. I think that's globe. Yeah. Guster, flow, and then snout. And yeah, overall, very solid change. Um, finally, for the last miscellaneous change, we have some changes to rarity. So when I pick this up now, um, this used to be like a white, but now it has more of a purple because it's now classified as an epic. And there is currently now three epics in the game. Or three brand new epics in the game. And overall, there's just a lot of different changes. So common items like items that you can easily get are now just classified as pretty much very common the more uncommon things such as like maybe some of these pattern patterns like creeper charge 
are classified as uncommon and then the even harder ones to get maybe like the thing those are classified as rare and then like really hard things to get like well, like silence are classified as the epic tier so those are like extremely hard and there's only a, a very small amount of them so for example like the elytra itself is an epic tier um i think the dragon egg is as well whereas something like uh the enchanted golden golden apple which has been getting pretty easy to get lately has now become a more rare tier and golden apples have just been demoted to common tier because you can just make these so overall very interesting change the first one I wanted to talk about is the minecart experimental features, which include all this cool stuff I have set right here. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is the fact that there is now a new command in this experiment. It's called minecart max speed, and that will change your max speed depending on how much you want to change it. So the default speed is obviously 8, and this will correlate with another new change. We'll show it off which is the fact that minecarts will now be able to kind of launch themselves and I don't think that was def I don't think that was default speed that did not feel I guess it was interesting but yeah so minecarts are now able to kind of fling off the rail and kind of like arch before they fly down it's, it's like launching basically it's kind of cool and it is affected by speed, so let's say we go to... Well, let's just go straight to 100, because like this is too small of a space for it to really be a big difference. So like a speed of 100 will launch a lot farther compared to default speed. Uh, but yeah, that's all for the minecart changes that I'll go over. Uh, finally, we have our winter drop experimental features, which include the next... Uh, the next major drop we're gonna call the major drops um, and this includes like the pale biome the creaking and all of its features so obviously we have the creaking heart pale moss and the pale hanging moss the carpets moss carpets uh, all of the wood types I'm not showing them all off because like they're just kind of the same thing I'll just show off the more unique designs like the doors the trap door fence so, no signs uh, the boats creaking and obviously our pale garden biome um i'm gonna show off a little bit of uh video over here but as you can see the biome is very different from anything we have it's a lot it's very gray it's very like desaturated it's kind of a it's a very cool feel to the biome i really like it and obviously it's not done yet it's going to be done by the time it's probably going to be done probably christmas season so we can still expect a lot because it's only like October. So look forward to more stuff for the winter drop. But for now, I'm just going to showcase what we have right now. And that's uh, that's all. Um, I will show off, like, for example, how to spawn a creaking. So or how the creaking works. He's actually up here. I, I forgot about him. I forgot I put, he up, I put him up there. But uh, yeah, he's been up there making noise this entire time. Um, but in order to spawn a creaking heart, you need to put two pale logs in the same direction as the creaking heart, and then it has to be nighttime. So if we set it to night, well, if we set it to night, he would have spawned, but I guess he's not going to spawn. And so he's up there anyway, so might as well just, I don't know why it didn't work, but yeah, he's up there. And it's very cool. He has a very cool design, very asymmetrical. I like him a lot very chill guy but usually when you do this it's when you set it to night he'll spawn and the way he works is that well right now I'm in creative so he's not technically functioning properly but he, when he finds a player he will follow them and as long as you're not looking at them they won't attack you and in order to kill them you must break the creaking heart over here so a very fun challenge very cool lots of potential and I'm hoping to see more in the next few months until the next drop so uh, that's about it for the 1.2 update. Uh, overall, yeah, very strong update. I really like it, and I hope you'll enjoy playing it as well. 
and if you want to play if you're trying to get back into minecraft uh check out this video on the i card above uh it's kind of outdated but it's only really outdated by one update which is literally this update so uh yeah overall solid update and without further ado this is veil 2059 signing out